ericmoadetmother.com and here we're going to be taking a look at the gold situation right now lots of the gold stocks as you can see here gold stocks making highs for the day um, also the ETFs on gold we take a look at where gold is trading gold is up again today uh, up as much as 16 points so let's take a look here and so it's flying in the face of my previous analysis that I personally think around this current levels gold could stall and I have a very odd take on the markets because I am leaning towards gold stalling and the stock market also stalling and that's a very unique position a lot of the people are playing gold as a hedge of the market in other words everybody's playing the market I don't want to say everybody but a lot of people are playing this market from the point of view that gold is breaking out and therefore the market is a short or people are playing gold as a way to short the stock market or hedge against it so right now we are looking at gold on the GLD breaking out here at about 118.36 is the buy point on the GLD and it's breaking out on the monthly on excuse me on the weekly looks good everything looks good and again gold is still at the highs of the day market showing a short short term pullback we come to this gold trade and I could be absolutely wrong because as long as GLD is breaking out there could be more upside in the gold trade right there so I want to show you what I'm looking at right now as a follow-up to the previous video on gold now keep in mind if I go back to my gold chart let's go back to GLD let's take a look at a monthly chart and so what I am fighting here is this idea here that gold is breaking out is absolutely legit so we see that gold is breaking out to three year highs that's absolutely legit okay we see that the MACDs are trading at three year highs that's something gold hasn't done in about in three years or at least in more than three years so the MACD moving to three three year highs and also moving above zero is a great development for gold market bulls. so my only trepidation with this move is on the long-term monthly charts and here we can see that on the GLD I after a very strong move it's a very sharp move here over the last two months in gold for January and February 2016 I think gold is about to stall and this is my thesis for now because it's coming back to test this level here which was the previous break level and of course I won't go into details because I did mention this in the previous video about two days ago so I think if gold turns down for the month then that's gonna be confirmation that it could be stalling around here keep in mind this might play out over a period of two months because it might take a while to turn around but if gold eventually turns around and has uniform activity above that red line or around the red line so uniform activity around the red line or around the 50 level then there could be a pullback we take a look for example at the GDX so GDX here and let's go back a couple years here about 2000 this one so we can have more data on the chart here and you can see here now I think what's taking place in my opinion is we are coming back to test this break this break in 2012 brought gold off, the, off those levels we draw a line from there and I think right now if we end up showing resistance in the coming weeks around this level here which also happens to be around the 50 level of the monthly RSI then around here even though the GDX is up 2% for now if it turns red for the month then around here you'd expect it to show a major pullback one of the reasons being that this this was a strong move almost straight up the last two months during this period here and I think it would make sense if gold stalls around here even though at the risk that this could actually be where gold eventually starts moving higher so there's a there's two competing theories here either gold is breaking out the GLD here on the monthly should be a buy for anybody who wants to play gold so the GLD is a buy as long as it holds above 18.84 now the trick is if it if it fails and if it moves back below 18.84 then that is where you want to take the opposite position so right now 
as long as the GDX is above 18.84 and as long as the GLD so let's take a look at the GLD as long as the GLD is breaking out above 118.36 then you have to assume that you can play the trade to the upside so 118.36 means that this is breaking out on the weekly one can buy this and ask questions later okay so you just buy it ask questions later and now the key here is if it ever fails and moves back below 118.36 that would be when the confirmation would take place that it is stalling and that the uniformity line on the monthly charts is coming into play now i want to take a look at the hourly charts because i personally see the possibility let's go to the daily first so the daily here is also breaking out above 119 which was the previous daily closing high for 2016 so good breakout there and it could actually even have more to gain if it moves above 69.1 so we can watch out for that as a way of showing increased momentum above 69.1 on the daily would be good for gold my feeling here is if we take a look at the hourly charts and the 30 minute charts little bit of a question mark as to what gold is trying to do here we can see that as of right now we are still showing potential for this okay now I guess it depends on how you want to look at it here one can argue that there's a breakout level right there right it is moving above that level might give it a chance to move higher but I'll, sh I'll show you this on this take a look at the 30 minute chart because I didn't notice on the 30 minute chart there's some level of resistance based on this recent it's a slight here can you see that now in fact it connects nicely with the recent high the high there and the high here so on a 30 minute chart you start seeing evidence that if gold cannot hold above where it's trading right now at 1258 so gold trading at above 1258 right now uh, up about 16.2 points so trading at that level if it cannot hold above that level then around here it could stall also you can see that this corresponds nicely with this recent top side resistance so there was a re break there that break comes from this break which is somewhere off the highs there so on a 30 minute chart we had uniform activity rejection there for the highs somewhere there and a pullback and now we are showing it back to those lines so let me show those again and I think here is where a gold has to make a stand. If it shows resistance on this red line again, just like it did here with uniform action, there could be a pullback. All right. And then also, as I noted, there's another top side resistance there. That's the GLD. Take a look at the GDX. And the GDX also coming to do the same thing. Here we are making a slight higher high. And that's important to note that we're making a slight higher high in price slightly maybe not quite there intraday but while we are doing that take a look at where the rsi is trading it is coming back to test the line connecting recent rsi highs on the 30 minute chart and i think that's a problem for this instrument and also on the gdx we can also see that if you draw a line somewhere around there gold needs to move above those two lines otherwise around here it could easily stall so it needs to break out or around here it stalls and just for the record so we can see where gold is trading because it's always good to always go back and see what and how things trade because in time we'll be able to understand why gold is going to trade the way it's going to trade in the coming weeks and months so trading there at 1258 up about uh, almost 17 points we'll see which way it goes so so that's the thing let's take a look at slv silver also and silver on a 30 minute chart coming back now remember silver has had a slightly relatively deeper correction since the recent highs so silver is not trading at the high level or silver is not attempting to break out like the other uh, instruments of the gold gld and the gdx so silver is off and here we can also see the same type of action if you draw a line right there which is off this recent high here it tagged that line there which was that period and now coming back on a lower level and tagging that so i personally lean towards this 
all this telling us that more than likely if gold cannot move above current levels which is gold trading at about again 1258 if gold is not moving higher than 1258 thereabouts I think this hourly chart and the 30 minute chart are suggesting that we should not be too surprised if gold pulls back of course we shall see but the takeaway here is if you want to play this instruments just go to the GDX GLD as long as the GLD is breaking out above 118.36 this can be seen as a buy signal for gold so just keep that in mind and ask questions later it's only if and when it breaks back below 118.36 that one can consider that a sell signal but for now we can one can play the breakout there and also one can play without knowing what the future brings one can still play the the GDX the GDX here moving to highs for the day as long as the GDX is holding above 18.84 so that's the situation there I'm gonna leave you here with gold trading at the highs for the day nice move higher for the day and we'll see how things go otherwise the opportunity is there to either be part of the breakout here or wait for it to see whether it stalls but I think you can play the breakout and you can consider the sector a short once the weekly charts if the weekly charts fail to hold above the current prescribed buy point levels Eric Mwadith, Mwadith .com, as always good luck ask me any questions if you have them otherwise let's see how this situation plays out peace and blessings e I see Yes.